<clears throat> Hello everybody. It's been a long while since uh, I did a video. And I thought, why not come in the great outdoors and uh, do one? <clears throat> As you know, it's been a tough life for people with this pandemic. Your stress, ex anxiety, <clears throat> we all have it. Christmas is just around the corner, Christmas Eve. <clears throat> and once again, I still firmly believe that more than ever now, we need, we need to see the stores close early on Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve at 4 p.m. If not, maybe even at 3 p.m. Workers really, really need it. <clears throat> and I don't, I think it's a fair request to the government, it's a fair request to Steve McNeil, to Tim Houston, to Gary Burrow. <clears throat> it's a fair, it's a fair request to all the churches and the unions and the general public to ask for support for this. I don't see anything wrong with it. Have we become that commercialized that we can't give workers a break that we were called essential? I don't get it. It's it's not right. And I even had some people, oh, you don't don't like it, get another job type of thing. We don't talk like that to doctors or letter carriers. We don't discourage anybody to making life better. <clears throat> I mean, making life better for people. You see so many out there fighting for their, to make things better and, uh, Retail can be a strong place if everybody got together and said, hey, let's do something about it. Christmas Eve is one of the best times of the year for families to get together. And as you know, it's going to be hard with this pandemic, you call it, or some believe it's a pandemic, which I won't get into because this is all about Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve. <coughs> I'm asking everybody that signed my petition to please sh share this video, to contact Stephen McNeil, <clears throat> Tim Houston, Gary Burrell. We need this. Why not? It's a fair request. Our government is off all the whole week before. We could, <clears throat> we could make life better. We could make uh, Christmas Eve, New Year's Eve, a statutory holiday, but you know, between two eves. We'll give something back to the essential workers. A lot of people are taking this pandemic seriously. I'm sorry, I'm not. They took hero pay away. They don't give the workers any sick days. And just a simple request for Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve to uh, shut down at 4 p.m. <clears throat> it's uh, not an unreasonable request. <clears throat> and by the way, um, I've been on Rick Howe's show for several years. And uh, last year, he didn't ask me on. <clears throat> I never, and had maybe four or five. <clears throat> oh, I lost, I lost it. Uh, back to this, I uh, was on with Rick Howe in the last four or five years, and last year I wasn't on. And all of a sudden, uh, Walmart started uh, advertising with the station, and <clears throat> that's it. So I'm guessing uh, I wasn't good enough to be a guest. And I wrote uh, ATV, I wrote CBC, I contact a global the whole works of them they would not uh, <clears throat> they would not interview me now is that Canada they're not letting you decide whether you agree with me or not whether you think it's a good idea whether you think it's a bad idea they're not they're not uh, letting people know this there's a lot of censoring I'm being censored I am being censored <clears throat> I, I know one day uh, a few years back on Q104, they did post the question, and there was a lot of people that wanted to see this happen. 
and I know if it was on uh, CTV <clears throat> or Global or CBC, there would be a lot of a lot of people would support me on this. And this is what really bothers me because this isn't only just about Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve. It's about democracy and what it means and what we should be able to do and. Whether you agree or disagree, you should be able to give that opinion. And I've been, I've been censored. Just like, uh, just like people are being censored with uh, different doctors <clears throat> speaking out about this pandemic. On the other side, they're being censored. And when you, uh, <clears throat> when you hear Donald Trump talk about fake news, I'm sorry, I have to agree with the man because they're doing it to me. They are doing it to me and it's not right. I should be able to give an opinion. Other retail workers that want to talk, they should be allowed to talk, but they're not. And that's not Canada. That's not the Christmas spirit. Where's the Christmas spirit, people? Please support me. Contact your radio station, talk on talk shows, call your MLA. Contact the Premier. We can make it happen. <clears throat> I don't have a platform like Diana Whalen did with the February holiday. She had a seat in the legislature. Uh, she had all, all the media behind her because she's with the government. They wanted, they wanted the day off. I'm just trying to protect what we already got and give us that break. You talk about mental health. Well, the workers really need this. They need that break to be home with their families, to enjoy it. Life is short, as you all see. Life is really, really short. And what a, what a gift, what a Christmas gift it would be, the government to come out, the different churches, the different unions, the different businesses to say, you know, these guys deserve it. Let's give it to them. But you don't hear nothing. You just hear silence. That's really sad. That's really sad when so many people are going home at noon. And, and it's just a simple request, 4 p.m. It's just a simple request. And I will send this video to all the stations again. <clears throat> I will send it to Rick Howe. I hope I can get on with him on his show. That's what democracy is, not this censoring bit. People died in wars, you know, so we could talk. And a lot of people don't like guys like me that talk. It's a horrible thing. If, like I said, if I had the power to go on TV, this would be a holiday in no time because I do believe people want it. I do believe people think it's Christmas and I do want to state one argument that someone had given me from one party one year <clears throat> it didn't represent the party but it was the member of the NDP he said to me well what about other religions they might be offended if we close on Christmas that was a real good argument when you say and I responded to him ask yourself that same question everybody else is home why are we any different? Any reason to give to keep these stores open is given. And by the way, people aren't social distancing. Give retail workers a break. I'm asking you please to give us a break <clears throat> to contact Tim Houston, Stephen McNeil, Gary Burrell. We, I, I need your support. We can make this happen. We can make it happen. We've seen a February holiday, so don't tell me it can't happen, because it can. I really see the need for it more than ever. People are, people aren't the same anymore. They're upset, their anxieties are up. They really need this break, Nova Scotia. I hope other provinces even adopt it. Christmas break should be a little longer. Christmas. Eve, at least, 3, 4 o'clock, it should go right through till past Boxing Day. 
give the workers a break. They work hard going up to Christmas. They got cranky people. They got, you know, they got to live with these masks on, trying to breathe and stuff. They really need it now more than ever. I want to thank you. I probably will come on again. At least we had the opportunity to talk on uh, Facebook Live until we're censored. <clears throat> this should be a country of freedom of speech, and it's not. It's horrible. Thank you. Have a great day. Please share my video. Please speak out. Please do a video. Why not? Why not do a video and speak out? You know, we could make life so much better for people. I don't understand. If I went on here cursing and swearing and doing something awful, I'd have a million shares. But here I'm doing, trying to do something right, and I don't get any support at all. I just can't believe the hits some people, the followers and hits people get. I try to, I don't curse, I don't swear, I try to represent myself good, I try to help people. Isn't that what humanity's supposed to be and Christmas is supposed to be about? Being, us all being together? It's rough, you know. I suffered anxiety just as well as everybody else. And uh, it's not easy. And not easy finding the time to uh, talk about Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve, but I am passionate. I remember the day we were in the uh, Bayer's Lake and uh, Jane looked at me and she said, I looked at her, I said, look at that, they're open till eight o'clock on Christmas Eve. It just felt like a knife going through me, I thought, how could they do that to their staff and how could anybody not say anything about it it's like you know you got all year to buy your buy your groceries and clothes and stuff and she looked at me and she says you're going to have to fight it no one else will and, well here I am and then I'm thinking why it shouldn't be just me it should be everybody should be concerned caring about one another and we don't care about one another anymore it's not the way life should be you know to get ignored and to get ignored by the mainstream media everybody believes everything that's on tv whatever they say goes but they censor a lot they're censoring me all the time so i do get it i know a lot of people don't like donald trump but he's right. I mean, I see them censor me. And I'm not saying I'm a big Trump fan, so I don't want everybody to get off the deep end. But I'm saying he's right about that. You need to be in the middle of both worlds to make a better world. You know? And uh, <clears throat> it would be a better world if people could get off at 4 p.m. It also could make life easier if it was a statutory holiday between two Chris, Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve. You know, get off three or four <clears throat> and have that time together. Because anxiety is high. I know you've all seen it in stores. People going up and down the wrong arrows. People with masks trying to breathe. People walking around with masks below their nose because they can't breathe. And the staff... You know, they can't police all this stuff. They really need this break. I'm asking you, please, to contact the Premier. I'm asking you, if you haven't signed our four-year-old petition, please sign it. Share it. Do a video. Do whatever you can do to get this going. Life can be so much better for everybody to have that break on Christmas Eve. I can't imagine working to 6, 8, 8 p.m. I mean, it's like we've got all year to do it. And uh, we need something done. 
I'd like to get on TV media. I requested it before and they didn't even contact me. They didn't even answer me. I'm being censored. This is Canada, you know? Did you ever hear tell the Charter Rights and Freedoms? I'm being censored. People should be give, given the opportunity, no matter what the subject is, to watch it, make up their own minds and say, but when you're censored and you're not allowed on there, there's a good reason. Because I know this, this would pass into law. It's the corporations controlling things and they don't, they don't want the stores closed. Look at this pandemic. They shut down churches, but you know, hundreds could go in Costco and shop and not social distance. Everything's about money. Nothing's about the human being anymore. And I'm still a firm believer the stores being closed on Sundays, but this is what it, what it isn't about. But it's everything that I'm about is for families being together. And I know people got to work holidays, Sundays, but guess what? It's never mentioned to any other occupation that's off. Just retail, the divide and conquer game. Anything, anything mentioned is to try to keep people like me quiet. And I like to see life better. We can make life better for other non-essential services. Why can't they? Why can't they be off on a holiday instead of them looking at me and say, oh, look at that. Susan's working at uh, Burger King, but here you're off on a holiday. The divide and conquer, but you never heard that argument towards the letter carrier, an MLA. It's just that we are treated so low, low, third class citizens, and it's not right. It's not right, it needs to change. And mental health, people say how important it is. My God, listen at you. I'm, we and the people that signed that petition are asking the stores to close at four. We're not asking for your whole arm and leg. We're asking just to get off at four on both eaves. That isn't too much to ask. And especially during this pandemic. It's not. It's not too much to ask. But I do want to thank everybody for listening. I will update if any news comes of it, but you know, when you have the media picking and choosing what to put on, I'm sorry, that's not right. That's not Canada, that's not the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. Not just not just for me, but there are a lot of things I've seen them pick and choose what they want on their station and it's not right. And during this pandemic, I seen both sides and I seen sides that are being censored by the mainstream fake news stations. And I hope they prove me wrong. Let them prove me wrong because I'm sorry I feel just like that guy down south of the border that nobody up here likes, but that doesn't mean it's not true. And they're doing it to me, and that's that's the way I feel. You know, Chris, I'm a strong believer in families. I love family life, and I tell you, I've seen a lot of deaths. A lot of people are gone. I think the workers deserve it, and I think if other occupations non-essential want it, I'm all for it. None of this divide conquer game. Well, he's working and he's not. Da da. That doesn't fall. I don't fall through that BS anymore. Them games they played with the Sunday shop. And I want to thank everybody that does did listen to this video. It took me a while to get out here. I might as well tell you. I also got a mom. And she's got dementia. And I try to look after her. I'm very busy with her. And I see the problems in the healthcare system. They don't give you enough time for home care to look after people. 
There's a lot of problem in homes. There's, there's a lot of problems out there. And uh, so you see, I do got anxiety. I know other people the same problem as us that got anxiety. So, you know, Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve, that would be such a gift. A gift. Oh yeah, before I want to close, you know, everybody says, everybody's listen to the government and the top doctor, what they want. And you're taking it all serious about the mass and social distancing. Well, I, I want to leave, leave you with this. If you're so serious and you believe everything they're telling you and that they care, ask yourself this. Why is there no hero pay for all the employees that are deemed essential in these stores? No hero pay anymore, since you all think it's a pandemic. Number two, there's not any sick days whatsoever. Number three, I'm just, we're just asking to be off Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve early at 4 p.m. Nothing said. But this is supposed to be serious. Now you think about it. They don't care about what happens to people in retail. And it's wrong. It needs to change. They need to stop catering to corporations. The mainstream media needs to start letting us talk. Because this is supposed to be Canada. You don't have to agree with me. But it's Canada. You know, Charter Rights of Freedom. Anyway, have a great day. Thank you for listening. Bye for now.